Greetings everyone, I am Andrej Ekplant and welcome to Dungeons and Gerbs. In this video I will tell you what books are required to play D&D style games in Gerbs and what books might be situationally useful. Obviously, you will need the Gerbs basic set, you cannot play Gerbs without it. If you are an inexperienced player, I suggest reading the introduction as it explains well what Gerbs is and what you should expect from it. After that, read chapter 1 of Gerb's basic set as it details the basics of character creation. Then skip chapters 2, 3 and 4. They are very big, you do not have to read them all, as there is a lot of content that simply is not necessary for this type of setting. After you are done with that, you should have a general impression of the building blocks of Gerb's. However, I strongly recommend also reading how to be a Gerb's GM chapters 1 and optionally chapter 6, and how to be a GURPS GM managing expectations. This is a very short book, read it in its entirety. Despite having GM in the titles, they are very useful for players as well. These books will help with certain misconceptions about the system and will also help you create a good, decent character. The best thing is the guidelines on what attribute and skill levels are considered good and bad. As a new player, you probably have no frame of reference for those. Now let's talk about the other essentials. Well, technically you can play with just a basic set, but I consider some of the other books essential. GURPS Martial Arts. This book greatly expands the combat system. Even without it, the combat system of GURPS can be deep and detailed. But in my opinion, some of the expansions from GURPS Martial Arts are essential if you want to have an even more fun in combat. If you hate fun, then this book is not for you. GURPS Low Tech This book can serve as a gear catalog for low tech games. GCS has a library that includes all gear from this book and its companions. Thanks to that, equipping your character is not that hard. GURPS Low Tech Companion 2 Weapons and Warriors Unfortunately, this book hides rules for scaling gear for small and large creatures. Since D&D is full of non-humans of different sizes that range from halflings to giants, these rules are essential if you are playing a dwarf, for example. GURPS Low-Tech Instant Armor This is only necessary if you do not use GCS. If you do, you can just use this book's library to buy piecemeal armor. Calculating armor weights and cost might be tedious otherwise. GURPS powers If you decided to play a character with supernatural powers, you probably should ask your GM about how these powers work. If you'd like to delve into the details, you can check this book out. But it's very much possible to, for example, play a sorcerer even without reading it. Ask your GM to explain the sorcery mechanics, they are not long or difficult, and use pre-made spells. You do not have to know all the modifiers and underlying mechanics, the spell's description tells you what the spell does. GURPS Dungeon Fantasy 16 Wilderness Adventures This book is very important in D&D style games, as it has many rules about camping, navigation, foraging, hunting, and other things like that. I count it as an essential volume. Aside from these essential books, you might want to at least consider some other books. GURPS Action 2 – Exploits I know that this seems to be absolutely unrelated to D&D, but there are some cool chase sequence rules that might be useful. GURPS Boardroom and Curia and GURPS Dungeon Fantasy 17 – Guilds might interest you with rules about guilds and other organizations. GURPS Dungeon Fantasy VIII – Treasure Tables and GURPS Dungeon Fantasy Treasures I – Glittering Prizes are excellent resources about treasures of all kinds. GURPS Fantasy is a good read if you want to build your own fantasy setting. GURPS Fantasy Tech I – The Age of Reality and GURPS Fantasy II – Weapons of Fantasy might be necessary to cover some fantasy technologies from super-heavy plate armor and swords filled with mercury to reflecting mirror arrays. GURPS Fairies might be a good resource if you want to have any beast folk races in your world. 
Also, there are some nice combat techniques that can be useful not only for monsters, but also for normal characters. GURPS High Tech and GURPS Ultra Tech could be useful if you like introducing anachronistic technologies into your game. GURPS Horror has an interesting corruption system that might come in handy. It is very similar to D&D Taint. GURPS Low Tech Companion 1 – Philosophers and Kings and GURPS Low Tech Companion 3 – Daily Life and Economics are excellent expansions for GURPS Low Tech. Nothing essential, but still full of good stuff. GURPS Martial Arts Gladiators can be used for certain D&D characters. GURPS Martial Arts Earth Fighting Styles has some neat expansions on combat styles and techniques. GURPS Martial Arts Technical Grappling is an alternative grappling system. It is quite complex on the surface and difficult to wrap your head around at first, but it is not as clunky in play as it seems. Alternatively, consider buying Fantastic Dungeon Grappling, which is a more streamlined version of technical grappling. GURPS Mass Combat is great if you want to command armies. The entire GURPS Power Up series is great, but not essential. GURPS Psionic Powers presents an excellent framework for psionic powers. If you watch my video on adapting D&D psionics, you probably know that I basically use this book with very few alterations. GURPS Psionic Campaigns and GURPS Seas are two often overlooked books that contain not only new supernatural traits, but also advice for both players and GM that can be useful not only for psionics, but also for other supernatural powers, including magic. GURPS Social Engineering This is only necessary for games that focus on social interactions, but this is an excellent book. I highly recommend it, especially if you want to take the focus away from dungeon crawling. GURPS Supers has some new traits and techniques, but its jamming advice can be useful for high power games. GURPS Template Toolkit 2 Races is a great book if you want to create your own racial templates. GURPS Somatology Sorcery is a great magic system. You probably know by now that I'm a big fan of it, and I'm using it as base for many different D&D spellcasting traditions. And GURPS Underground Adventures is an excellent book if you want your dungeon crawling to be more realistic or detailed. And that's it. Of course, uh, there is a great deal of useful pyramid volumes too, but that's outside of scope of this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.